Hey, Brooklake, it's Tuesday afternoon. This morning was our leadership team's first in-person meeting, and we spent some time talking about uh, our plans for reopening. And uh, then we spent some time in worship and prayer and seeking the Lord. And um, to be honest with you, I really sensed God speak to me and us during that time. And so we wanted to share with you some plans that we feel like God has interrupted and what we want to focus on for the next few weeks. We announced a couple weeks ago that we're going to reopen on July 5th. I'm here to tell you that that is not happening. A couple different reasons for that, primarily because we really feel like the Lord has spoken to us and redirected us to spend a few weeks, the month of July, seeking Him, gathering together virtually, and coming together, continuing to stream. Um, We're going to gather one time in our parking lot for worship and prayer, but we really feel like God is saying to us, look, I'm doing something, I'm doing something new, and I don't want you just to go back to normal. Normal is gone. We're gonna come back eventually, obviously, and gather in person, but when we do, we want to be different. I wanna be changed. I want the Lord to have done something deep inside of me. And we really feel like we need to take the next few weeks to seek Him. So we're going to be giving out some resources on fasting and prayer and devotions that we can all do together just to seek His face. We are going to be coming back together in person. And what we've learned over the last week from having our RSVP system in place is that not as many people are excited to come back as we thought. And maybe you, you're out there thinking, I already knew that. Well, we, uh, we've discovered that as well. That's not the primary decision, uh, reason for the decision, but it is a factor. Uh, we're not able to do kids ministry yet. We're not able to have the coffee shop open yet. There's a lot of things that we want to have in place. We are going to be uh, making, giving you further announcements in the weeks to come through email, through video. We want to do our best to keep you up to speed, but we want to thank you for your prayers. I want to thank you for your patience. Um, this whole journey has been, uh, it's been challenging, as you know. And uh, I know so many of you are probably disappointed with this announcement. There's a part of me and us that's disappointed as well. But as your pastor, if I can just ask for your confidence that we really feel like the Lord has spoken to us and we want to take very intentionally these next few weeks to seek Him every single day. We'll be coming to you via digital uh, socials and emails and videos to guide our journey over the next few weeks as we seek the Lord. The Bible says to humble ourselves and pray and seek His face. And when we do, God will heal our land. And that is our heartbeat. Thank you guys. I love you so much. Thanks for your patience. Thanks for your confidence. Have a great day.